Hi guys, welcome back. Obviously, I am still in quarantine at my house and not at the venue. And obviously, I got really, really bored and laid outside for way too long. And that's why I'm really pink. So, <laughs> quarantine life, everybody put on sunscreen. Don't come back as a lobster like I did. <laughs> um, so, a bunch of y'all usually come tour the venue and you either come with your fiance or your mom or your maid of honor, best friends, or even all of the above. But some of you ask me, well, how involved should my groom be in the wedding planning process? Do they need to tour the venue? Do they need to tour multiple venues with you? Should they go to all the appointments with you? What should they do? So I am here to tell you that honestly, it's up to you. So every couple is different. Every groom is different. Everybody's different. Um, everybody has a different wedding. So really, it's up to you. What do you want them to do? What do they want to do? What do y'all feel comfortable doing together? So there's a couple things that the guys kind of have to do. Like obviously they need to be the ones to pick out their groomsmen. They need to pick the best man. They need to help pick the guest list. So guys need to be able to tell you like who in their family is important to attend. Who do they need to be on the guest list? And then they need to find out from their parents who their parents want to be on the guest list as well. So that is something they need to contribute to. Then the guys also need to be in charge of getting their groomsmen together, going to a tux or a suit shop and trying those on, picking out what those are gonna look like. Of course, the girls might have some opinions on that. Um, I know a lot of girls definitely help pick like the color and the style of it, but the guys need to actually go to the place, try them on, get fitted, all that kind of good stuff. And then there's some optional things. So it's really up to y'all as a couple what you want him to be involved in. I personally did not have my husband tour all of the venues with me. Me and my mom actually toured seven. Um, it was just something fun me and her wanted to do. I thought it was fun. I liked touring venues. I liked seeing different things. It's just something that me and mom thought was fun. So we did it. And then whenever I picked my favorite one, I took him to see it before I booked it. So I did have him give the final like, yes, I like it, I agree kind of thing. But he didn't tour all seven with me. He only saw the final one. And then um, flowers. So that is something that my husband's really good at picking out is he's like, okay, I really like flowers. So I said, personally, I know nothing about flowers. I was like, here are the colors I want. What kind of flowers do you think? <laughs> and he picked out roses. Typical guy, you know, he just thinks roses are classy and pretty, which they are. But I loved having that kind of input from him. So that way he did have a say so in the style of our wedding and what the decor was gonna look like. So he got to pick out that we had roses, be our flowers. And then um, a lot of times guys like to do the food tasting. That's probably the thing that they're best at, to be honest. The food, the cake, and then helping pick out what the bar is gonna have. So if you're doing like signature drinks, like a his and her drink, you should probably let him pick what his signature drink is gonna be. So guys are really good at that part. Um, going to taste multiple places. Make sure you don't just pick the first food place that you try. I would recommend trying at least three just to get you some good options. And then for cake and everything, I would try at least two. Just so that way y'all know what the difference is, what the textures are like, the flavors are like, and then that way you can compare price versus quality. So price and quality are two things that you're gonna have to kind of find where that meets for you. And that's something that you're probably both gonna want to have input in, because those are big things. Um, a lot of times guys don't really care about like photography and stuff and videography. I know that was something that I picked out on my own. He didn't really have an opinion on that. Um, I know a lot of y'all know that there's like a difference between dark and moody and then like bright pictures. So there's definitely so many different photography styles. You have to pick what style looks best to you. So if you want his input in that, then that is so great. Maybe you could show him some example pictures of like the same photo, but in different styles and say, hey, what style looks best to you? But don't be offended if some guys are kind of like, they all look the same because maybe they don't have the same eye that you do where you can notice those small detail changes about like bright and airy versus dark and moody. So 
really that might be something you have to do on your own but if your guy is into it then definitely take advantage of it so if your groom is so into all these things and you cannot keep him away let him do it like it's both of y'all's wedding let him help in everything it's fun so the wedding planning process i know a lot of people say is stressful but honestly i think that if you can learn to have a balance and kind of lean on each other about things it won't be as stressful so take the rehearsal dinner, for example. If you are doing most of the wedding planning and you have done the guest list, the catering, the photographer, the venue, everything, and you are feeling super stressed out and overwhelmed, why don't you go to the groom and say, hey, this is how I'm feeling. I cannot plan another event. I need you to take the rehearsal dinner off my plate and kind of just give him guidelines as to here's what a rehearsal dinner is here's what you need to plan it and i really need you to do this for me and if he's a good husband like i hope y'all are all marrying great guys he will be willing to help you out with that guys make sure you are helping with this it is not just a one side thing a wedding is for two people y'all coming together i think that wedding planning sometimes can be stressful but it's really kind of like a test before you get married. So are y'all going to come together and plan this wedding, plan the rehearsal and everything, you know, be great. And are y'all going to do this together or are you going to fight about things and maybe it's not going to be so great. Like It's kind of your first challenge to get through as a married couple. Being married is not an easy thing. You are going to have challenges along the way. You're going to have disagreements. So planning a wedding is kind of like, a trial thing you know you're kind of figuring out how to communicate which is a really big part of marriage so figuring out what's important to you in the wedding what's important to him putting those first and making them priorities <laughs> priorities and then you go down from there make sure you're always taking a break and don't overwhelm yourself guys please try and be supportive of your wife it's very hard planning a wedding sometimes and it gets overwhelming. One big thing that I want the guys to make sure that y'all are doing is being supportive with your families. So I know sometimes the brides might have disagreements with the groom's moms or the groom's sisters or family just has a different opinion about things than what she wants and maybe she's feeling pressure from your family to do things the way that she's not wanting it done. In that situation, it really needs to be the guy who talks to his family and says, look, you know, this is how we're doing it. I'm so sorry if that's not how you wanted it, but this is our wedding. This is what we have chosen to do as a couple. So the guy really needs to make sure he has his fiance's back with his family and that you're not putting her in the front lines with them to take all the heat. Guys, you really need to help with your family. I know that it can be intimidating and an awkward situation. Just make sure that you're really sticking up for each other because y'all are family now. So you need to be there for each other. So to wrap it all up for you, it's kind of up to you what you want the guys to be involved with and what they want to be involved with. Let them do as much as they can. If you have a handyman at home, maybe he can make a seating chart. Maybe he can build you a big arch or a big cross. That would be awesome to have like some custom pieces done for your wedding. Let him build you stuff. If you have an artsy guy at home, maybe he can help design like the invitations or to save the dates, table numbers, something like that. So kind of help find what his strengths are and give him something to do along that line. If he's a music guy, maybe he can help pick out what the special songs are and making the DJ playlist. So there's always something that the guys can help with. Be sure to let them have their opinion and their say and that y'all are coming together and doing all of this as a new couple. So thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed it. See you later.